Hey, what up guys? This is Ryan Knows Tech with techinform.us, our technology blog. Today is the 23rd day of April 2011, and I wanted to talk about an application, uh, actually a request. If you didn't catch a couple days ago, I made a request video. If you'd like to see something, please send it to me in an email, uh, ryan at techinform.us. Make the subject line of that uh, email just the simple word request, and I'll make a video about it. This one is from Anthony. I'm not even going to try to pronounce your last name because I can't. But thank you a lot, uh, Anthony, for this request. We're going to be talking about an application for the Mac called, uh, I think it's just Cloud or Cloud App. Here it is in the Mac App Store. If you go, it's free. Search for Cloud. Uh, when I searched for Cloud, I believe it was the first thing right there that came up, and there it is. Click on it. Again, it's free. You need uh, OS 10.6.6, uh, I'm going to say, or later to download it. Uh, of course, that's what comes with the Mac App Store, so go ahead and make that download. It has 161 five-star reviews and only six one-star reviews from the morons who didn't know how to use it. Uh, but it is a very, very good application. Uh, I've had a, a couple days to use it now, or whenever this email was sent on the 21st, so about two days to use it, and it's been pretty good. My only complaint is to use it a lot. You do have to buy, a, 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 I guess, a higher license or a membership to it and um, from the t from the first time I looked at those prices it seems a little bit high but we'll looking at we'll be looking at that in just a minute anyways here it is you know you've got your screenshots all the reviews down there uh, pretty much that's just where you're gonna want to download it uh, they also have a website which I have opened here it is getcloudapp.com it really looks very Apple-y with very high resolution graphics very crisp share files fast very short uh, sentences and and uh, nicely laid out uh, stuff here looks awesome and you pretty much just a link to get it on the app store there and it tells you how to use it and what it does then you make your account you can make a free account and then you log in and you get this uh, when you install the application and you get it running it puts this little cloud up here in your uh, bar at the top it's just a little black cloud click on that it's going to show you the different thing that you have, think different things you have uploaded and how many views they have for example, there's a screenshot I uploaded. It's got 27 views. There's a screenshot. It's got 37. There's one that has zero. That's too bad. One and then two. So that's kind of cool. You can see how many different people have seen it. You can tell it to auto-upload screenshot, screenshots. I guess screenshots. You can open the web app, which is open in Safari right now, to the left of the screen. And then there's the preferences pane. You can come in here. and uh, I don't really know a whole lot about this. Um, oh, okay. There we go. Uh, reading the wrong thing. <laughs> when a drop is ready, automatically copy the link to the clipboard. Uh huh. So that's kind of like tiny grab. You take a screenshot, it's going to upload it like that, and then it's going to put the link to where that is on the web on your clipboard. So you can just paste. You get a growl notification, you get a little sound, and I told it to launch it. Login account, that's where you uh, punch in your password and stuff. Raindrops. I uh, I don't know a whole lot what raindrops does. If I hit command or control option R, uh, nothing happened. But maybe I'm just not in one of those apps. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. I tried to play with that and look it up, but I don't know. It doesn't seem crucial to the function of this. Uh, talking about the web app, here you can come. It's um, mycl.ly. Of course, you need to log in so you can see it. This is the library of everything I've uploaded. Let's say you wanted to see this here. We'll just open that in the new tab. And um, it's going to load that screenshot. And there it is. I was downloading uh, the Final Cut Pro X supplemental content right there. Um, pretty much the same for images. You can sort by popular images, bookmarks, texts. I uploaded a RTF. I don't know if it's still there. It is actually. I click view and, and it just downloaded the RTF that, uh, that I had. So that's cool. Back to the cloud app real quick. Yeah, you can also do that by going up there and click open web app. Web app. Text, archives, audio. You can drag audio files up there. It'll upload it and paste a link to that file. Same with video, other, and I guess uh, there's your trash. So in audio, if I were to go and uh, actually, why don't we do, we'll do that text file again. This is going to work with any file. Take your file, drag it up there on the cloud, drop it. You're going to see some white little dots moving back and forth, and then there's the RTF. So if we were to open a new tab, come over here and paste this in here, and there's the link to where that file is. Perfect. Then we can view, it'll download it, and there's our file that we just wanted. So it's really cool how easy this is to use, and uh, I do recommend it. I believe you can only do 10 uh, a day, which kind of sucks. Uh, the free one, you get 10 daily uploads, maximum file size 25 meg, and, and you can't use a custom domain. If you want to use Pro, which um, sounds really cool, you get 250 meg, you can use a custom domain, and it's unlimited daily uploads. You click click buy pro it's $45 a year or $15 for three months 
which uh, to me seems like a lot of money for something like that, that just uploads files, $45 a year. I mean, $45 is not a lot of money, but for just uploading screenshots and files, uh, maybe for as little as I use it just a few times a day, then uh, I don't need it. So uh, that's my little review of uh, Cloud App. It's really cool. I, I think the price is a little high, but if you want to use less than 10 uploads a day, it's definitely cool to have. And even if you use more than 10, there's 10 free ones, right? It's really fast servers too. So uh, awesome app. I recommend checking it out and leave your thoughts and comments down below if you've had it, if you tried it. And um, I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video. Until then, our website is techinform.us. My Twitter, twitter.com slash James R. Schultz. And uh, I'll talk to you guys in tomorrow's. Thanks again. Bye-bye.